All right, hey there, everybody. Um, I'm going to play Steph for the championship, season 15. Uh, he has to win four and a half games to beat me, so I have to win two games to uh, win the championship. We are playing Adventures Heavy Games, and the uh and with two events always so that's pretty much the extent of the setup <clears throat> i need to take a look at this board uh there's tournament there's no draw so the engine is not maybe quite as strong as you'd like well, there's not really an engine, I guess, is how I would put it. The only thing you might consider doing is, um, like, miser fins, but it doesn't seem very good. So, Doctor, of course, also works. I think I would rather have a fairly large deck. Um, maybe he's going to add in market squares. That's not crazy. Uh, I think I'm actually going to go with silver tournament and try and play with maybe a larger deck and try and hit the province first. We'll see how that goes. What does a raid do? Minus one card token. I knew what it did with the silvers, but um, the prizes are actually all nice. Garden's enablers. So here, if I draw an estate, I will probably buy another tournament. And if I draw a, He is probably considering between Caravan Guard Silver. Maybe he's thinking about a market square, but I'm not sure if I would do that. I if I hit five I'm going to take a giant. takes a giant I think I will take a, a caravan guard here which unfortunately I did not hit anything with it there um, his doctor hasn't done too much for him so far he is still drawing pretty well though or okay at least seems to be I can hit 8-6 here or I can get another giant um, a gold I guess I mean or a giant let's take a second giant I have five now. I think I would like a second tournament. This will get me to eight. He's also probably hitting eight. He killed my giant, which sucks. But that's life. I gave him a curse, which is not as good, but whatever. Now we're going to play game of partially who wins prizes my poor second giant let's hope he keeps whiffing on his doctors he decided to switch to copper at this point see if he gets another tournament at some point the tournaments will start being blocked 
um, then they're a little sadder okay I am still going to take one more though at this stage he gets followers and steed are both pretty good here um, taking silvers is pretty nice actually with the trusty steed on this board but also just cards actions is good too uh, I guess I know I have well I think I still have to play the tournament I could just play the giant and uh, have a pretty good chance of I am gonna stop here though because there's tournament province in that last bit um, and then buy another giant I didn't even get to block anything that's unfortunate I will take the followers now. The followers doesn't really mix very well with my... Oh, he pilgrimaged. That's interesting. I didn't really think of that. Um, I didn't really think of that either as a way to... Um, as a way to block or to activate giants or as a way to... Um, activate pil pilgrimages. Golds are good. Nothing wrong with golds. Um, so this is either guaranteed province and an attack. I think I have to do this even though it means not playing the followers <clears throat> what did I hit his giant let's see now princess is like two uh, gardens right now Um, I could have also done the pilgrimage, I guess. Killed my caravan guard like a jerk. So, I think still take those. <clears throat> you got more of the card gainers than me, and you got more of the gardens. Um, I'm not even sure if I want to buy anything here. Maybe a copper. He can take silvers and probably should. Yeah, but yeah, he he's gonna win this one. Um So, unless I get a lot of provinces or a lot of duchies, um,
it's like uh, I, I hate how the prizes now cover up the um, I could pilgrimage and gain three cards and of course then not have the sh upshot of um, possibly hitting province with the giant which I don't know exactly how many I even have Um, I only have two or three guards, so it's not that many points. Unless the game lasts really long. Which I guess it could. Um, probably not, though. So I don't know if I have another giant or not, but... He blocks. This is just two estates. Pretty messy decks. I don't know how close he is to leveling up his gardens I don't know how close I am to leveling up my gardens he can take silvers again and get pretty much there probably I gain a curse that's awful um and now I'm totally sunk right because He has 40, he's like three cards away from going up by five points or something. Yep, I agree with that. Um, so I would have to get the province and like hit a, um, hit a, A garden's threshold at the same time. I think. So he gets that one. Well, that one was interesting. Uh, yeah, we sp so we did split the garden. So if I had. If I had. Um, If I had maybe upped gardens and, and got that province, then I might have won. And maybe if the giant had destroyed some of his VP or something. This is a big, big engine. Um, really big engine, actually. So... A really uh, quite, quite strong engine. Uh, I don't know <laughs> if you want to open Jack Forager, Potion Forager, Potion Jack. Um, how exactly you want to play it. I wouldn't worry about embargo at all. Um, though you can draw the deck without the alchemist with the. Uh, 
I think I do want a potion opening, so. Now I just don't know if I want to get Jack or. He buys a Jack. Yeah, I mean. I think I'll take a jack. This is not good. Because the jack is not going to trash anything. Hmm. Oh, but I can alms. Whew. I almost totally forgot about it, even after immediately using it. Um, I really did need to use it there. Let's get a forager. So the jack is doing nothing. Um... It's not doing nothing, but it's giving me a silver run. I guess it's getting me to my potion this turn for sure, so that's something. <clears throat> this is really nice for him, trashing wise. We'll see if he go falls into the potions or if he's just going to play Storyteller Draw. You could do it with the Haunted Woods anyway, I mean, it's, it could work. Um, really sucks that the jack didn't get to trash anything. That's okay. Could have missed the shuffle. And it prevented the potion from missing the shuffle, so it still did good work. He went first again. Whoops, he did not go first 12 times. But. He must really be considering whether he wants to follow in the potions or play without them. I like the potion, it helps the outpost, and um, that's a big reason, actually. I think. Alright, he's not. Discard that. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. Could have told you that was going to happen next. Um, of course, that's just so terrible. And the, the uh, whatever it's called, Alchemist, it's avoiding me too. So That's great. That's just fantastic. pretty awful draws. You can do here a big stack of haunted woods um, like with the, the plus action thing on them. He is thin. He has had way way better draws than me. I can probably resign actually but I won't. He could start buying potion now and have and, and win the alchemist split like easily. It wouldn't even be tough for him. Would not even be a challenge. Now I have a nicer draw. I think I need to focus on cycling here. Alright, 
so we we whiff the potion again. That was a really nice turn, actually. Um, I would like a storyteller, and I will just try and compete with him on these a little bit. May trash the jack now, actually. Uh, yeah, let's play that. Yeah, if he gestures a lot of, uh, If he gestures a lot of um, alchemists from me, that'll be awful. It'll be really awful. way overdrew there, but just what he had to do. That's fine, actually. Relatively fine. <laughs> Not great, but... I don't know here if he goes Caravan Guard and another Jester. It's nice that his village is a duration, because it doesn't give him that many actions. But... Alright. So let's kill these. I know I have a storyteller on top. Um, of the deck, but. Okay, yeah, I wanted to get to the. To this thing. Now we need an outpost or a haunted woods of my own. Probably. I can also Lost Arts the Alchemists right now. Um, let's go with the Outpost. His double gesturing is going to be a bit of a pain. Though that's not the worst thing. When he hits my storyteller, then I'll cry. But That is pretty awful, actually, because he gets plus action from that next turn. See if he goes with a second gesture or Haunted Woods for a little insurance. Yeah, he goes to Haunted Woods. That seems pretty reasonable to me. You know he's, we know he's holding a gesture. I don't know what the other card he's holding. Another Caravan card. Now he's going for the Alchemist. Okay.
He's probably going to hit my storyteller within one of his gestures. And I will cry and cry and cry. Yep. Otherwise, I was going to have a reasonable shot at getting through my deck. Or maybe not through the deck, but through a lot more of it. As it stands, I'm probably just totally lost. We'll see who he gives that to. He can probably handle it. Though he might just give it to me. Yeah. Two more silvers coming down. Three more. Good goody. He just had a lot better trashing lineup at the beginning. And after that, there's not as much you can do about it. Probably shouldn't have played both of those, but... <clears throat> so uh, I have I should probably think this through a little more but um do I want to keep the jack of all trades probably Probably do. Um, get a gesture of my own. And this will give me five. Do I want to draw it all? I don't remember what else is in here. I don't really know my deck. Let's do this. Okay. Oh, I have two foragers. Okay. That makes some sense. He doesn't really want to play those, but I'm going to tell him to. I didn't know he bought a province. Huh. I totally missed that. He bought a province? Okay. That's, that's like the worst thing for me to hit, too. Pretty much. Because he'll just draw the deck and then trash it. It's just like perfect forager fuel for him. Did he? No, he killed one. Well, we both did. I don't know why I killed mine. I probably shouldn't have killed my second forager yet. I should have actually trashed that turn both with both of them. I wish my gestures gained me cards. That would be cool. That would be cool, especially considering he actually has like way more good stuff to bad stuff than I do even. <clears throat> that would be
would be pretty neat. I wouldn't complain. I mean, obviously, I've got to complain, but... Do, 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 do. Maybe he's thinking about moving his plus action token somewhere else. Two caravan guards, that seems pretty good to me. All right, well, I'm totally lost. Because I didn't draw the deck. And that can stay. Who cares? It doesn't really matter. I'm totally sunk here. Um, completely and utterly sunk. <coughs> would like to play that. Oh good, he had a crappy turn. That's nice. Alright, um Oh hey this turn is actually awesome. Okay. Let's see. what we hit. I will take that. Thank you. <clears throat> so... story well I don't know how Goku Goku does storyteller with potions I know how it's supposed to work um, let's find out so how much how many of these do I want to play maybe a couple oh I may have overdone that a bit a little bit Okay. Um. I could take his caravan guards away. <clears throat> oh, 
wonder if I have a three pile somehow on my turn. Probably not. Um, seems unlikely. Maybe on foragers? No. I mean, I would have to get pretty lucky on my gesturing, I think. So. Though I could have another jack, I guess. Uh, in case I hit one of these off the... So so let's see what the jester hits. Well, I'll take it. Um, I can grave robber it this turn maybe. Then... I really wish I had another gesture actually. So the three coins. I need to draw six cards. Oh, there's more of those. Well, I should have waited on that thing actually. But, um, or I should have transformed the jack. I don't know how this is all going to pan out actually. Um, I'm just going to not have enough cards, right? To really use that second jack. One, two, three, four. I mean, I'll still have so many cards in hand. Yeah, I should have changed. What did I grave rob? A caravan guard? I should have grave robbed a jack of all trades instead of this. Um, that was probably a screw up. This is pretty weird. Can't be that good. <clears throat> I'm not seeing how he can end it on his turn. So I think I want another gesture. Maybe he can end it on his turn, but I really only want to put five on my... D no, I can put all because he can't gain those. <clears throat> I'm a little worried that I, I am going to leave myself open to a three-pile ending. Um, that would suck to lose it now at that point. But anyway, I 
He's got a lot of cards, but he doesn't have like a gray rubber. Um, he just has jesters. He can't play as many terminals as me. The next card is a province. I should have left both of those. I should have left both the silver and the province on top. Really. Um, <clears throat> because he can, those are not st such terrible things for him to have to give me. Although the, the curse is not great. Um, but yeah, I should have left the silver on top as well. Uh, instead of discarding it like I did so that I could have a shot at or just have him gain it or me gain it. It's a better gesture target. Oh. He's now killing all his fives, okay. I don't know if he's playing for a, a win. He doesn't even have enough money to buy three of these things, so. So he still has to get to $12, um, which he might be able to do by trashing potions and stuff. I, he probably will be able to do a three pile here. I screwed that up totally. Um, I could have got more points and made it harder. But. Oh well. Try and play a little sharper in the next few so that we don't get 
humiliating loss. Now he's got to draw everything. What I don't know, um, I mean, if he hits a forger, it's easy win, I guess. Maybe it's still an easy win if he trashes uh, trashes a uh, potion. I assume he just has it. <clears throat> yep, GG. So that's just another example of always pay attention to the piles and learn how to count gains and how to not be an idiot. But next time maybe I'll um, I had such miserable. I had such terrible draws in the middle of the game, and then or in the start of the game, and then in the middle they were good again for me, and um, then I screwed up the end when I definitely had the lead. Uh, it should have been should have been more points. But that's okay. So this looks like a big, huge engine. We'll probably open Silver Iron Monger and then just try and get these all these really awesome cards and stick the pathfinding on really anything is fine. Poor Iron Monger, Conspirator. Even your I mean, I don't know that you'll have a lot of stables, but <clears throat> It looks like a really just huge engine to me. Um, distant lands should be like a great source of points, though. Ow. Really, all the VP here is pretty good. Um, The question is, when do I start taking the ports? Or that's one question. They're the best. I mean, if you have a lot of them, they're the best uh, pathfinding target. This last card is my silver, so I will hit five again. Seller should be great. Glad I drew that estate. That's nice. Um, he takes a port, which is looks right to me. Come on, draw the wharf. Draw the wharf. That's okay. Um, I'm going to go with Orf, Seller, myself. <clears throat> if I had drawn the Wharf there, I would have been probably in really good shape. And I'm in okay shape here. But this Wharf could easily draw dead quite easily. I assume he's going to make it to his other wharf. Yep.
Well, never mind. I'm just getting lucky. Really lucky here. I think I would like to have two wars a turn, but after that, I'll probably stop. He has a nice draw as well. Should be able to get two orbs in play here. And then buy, hopefully, Conspirator Port or something. <clears throat> I wonder if he'll take a Squire. It's a little bit of a tough sell. We're going to have a potential estate pile out here once the ports are gone, assuming they're gone. Um, Squire seems like maybe it could be good. I mean, at some point we might get to a place where draw, we just have a lot of extra draw. But, all right, we'll put that back. So I'm at seven. I really just want to get to eight. Perfect. Perfect. So, do I want two conspirators? Or a conspirator and a port? Um, can two conspirators gets me a twelve next turn? which is nice. Um, it's a little riskier because you could just draw. Let's do it. Let's press our luck. You could fail to draw a village here pretty easily. <clears throat> We're looking at four cards and we have like maybe three outs or something. So it's not it's not that great of shot actually. It was it was certainly the riskier buys. I could have gotten the ports and been uh pretty pretty stinking safe, but that's okay. I guess he'll be to eight here and he'll have a similar choice. To nine, okay. Yeah, so he did the same thing. Yeah, I whiffed, so that probably will lose the game for me, actually. Um, unless he has a, a dud, duddish turn, too, but no, he hit his seller, so he has another seller, so that's not unreasonable. But. I totally whiffed, so that is going to pretty much lose it. Too bad Conspirator wasn't action, didn't count cards like Peddler, then I would have been set. <clears throat> yeah, he's just, he's won this. But he might even Pathfind now in Conspirator. But he may just take three conspirators. I drew, the wharves all drew like ports as well, right? <laughs> ports and Ironmonger. Oh well.
this is one of those where if you fall a little bit behind then they they just win because um, the turns are, are more or less guaranteed I mean like now I, I'm gonna absolutely have to go uh, what was I gonna say what did he do poor poor conspirator yeah that's not too crazy um <clears throat> and then on the next turn I'm going to need to pathfind ports and start in on the distant lands I think or the provinces because the game's pretty close to over he may have to well 10 We'll see. I don't know what he'll do. There are actually like a lot of different things he could possibly do, so it's not no like clear thing that you have to do. He can't touch either of these now though. Well he didn't have enough money to, so um On his turn, then, he can play the distant lands and empty these, in theory. I'll have to score some points immediately. Um. Because the... Uh... Well, I can pile out. I guess I can take a tie. He might have to buy an estate. Because I would take a tie, I guess. I don't know if I would actually take a tie. I don't know exactly how much money I can make, but it's not 20. So I don't think he, I don't think he's actually in trouble.
I also think that a tie is probably not really very good for me. <laughs> I'm going to ask my opponent for some some slick advice. Um oh, well, I have to score points though. That's definitely true. Um He's got eight points sitting in his deck. He's got to get through a deck and get these distant lands down. Um, he doesn't pathfound or anything. Ah. <laughs> uh. What good does it does it tie to me? Is he tr it's trick? He's trying to trick me into tying. Um, he would need he would need he can make about the same money, so he would need. He couldn't quite do it. Whatever, no guts, no glory.
he doesn't so much have to worry about me um, winning on my next turn, though. He must have found his distant lands and wharves. That's pretty nice, actually. Well, we know the rest of his deck must be a bunch of ports and cellars. <laughs> he might be thinking about pathfinding, which would be pretty reasonable. So it gives me basically a turn of breather in which I can pathfind as well. So I would, definitely. And if I could grab like a squire. Mm. I'm not gonna, uh, it's very unlikely I'll get through my deck. It's pretty reasonable for him. I need to see a wharf. Nope. Okay, so I'm just pretty much screwed. Um, I have to think now. He can... Uh, so if he throws those two down, that's eight points right there. And then he would have... Um, to buy a nobles he would need just a lot of money I think he would need two estates he, two estates he might be able to do So, I mean, like, if I buy a promise now, he won't beat me next turn. Though he will beat me eventually. Um, if I pathfind right now, it may do me just no good ever. I could go Squire Nobles and really not have that good of a deck. Um, noble seller. <laughs> um, I think a province is just losing. I actually think most things are just losing. Unless I somehow, I mean, my next hand <laughs> is going to be like a million conspirators, basically, I think. 
and all and this oh gosh he can make a little more money now but still not that much I guess the really perhaps risky thing would be to do like Dutchy Port or even one, two, three, four, nine. I could do like Wharf Gardens, which would be pretty crazy bad, right? Right, so that's three for him, so I have to start the rest of these. I still need to get my two games. I really think Steph should go first. I don't know if that's like a well we'll try one more time but it feels like maybe it's like a feature almost but I don't know The dance isn't working. Is it just... <sighs> okay. So... Reveal some information. And... We've got borrow, which maybe is okay. What does borrow do? Minus one card token. If you want to raise, you may want to raise anyway, actually. So, uh, I'm thinking. You can do like a festival envoy engine. I'm going to open with the jester. We'll just see how that goes. I, I don't know if the jester is correct at all. Could be totally wrong. I don't know if you want rats at some point to I guess we could learn about gear big money Also took a jester. Um, I'm gonna take a gear. He'll take a raise, I suppose. And 
OP bars for a gear himself. Happy days. Um. Double raise. He'll just take an envoy, probably. Double raise or rats. Rats is not crazy. Scouting party, huh? And arrays are too skinny. Yeah, okay. Let's see here what he gets. Alright. This next turn is pretty garbage, right? Well, I would like another envoy and a raise myself. Well, actually, I think I'll take a, ha a great haul. Trash this hovel. And then do a scouting party or a raise. Yeah, this is garbage. I would assume he'll deny the festival, which is, seems like the right thing to me. And then I will do this. And I will borrow for another festival. I need some trashing. I should get a raise or a rats. Alright, so I would like a festival, a scouting party, and a raise. No 
Nope, no good. All right, let's see. That's a lot of the festivals. It's not all of them, but. I am taking a lot of these a lot of this junk He will deny the envoy since there's two villages in there. I will. I don't know if this necro is worth. So I think I'm going to borrow and get the festival and another envoy. I wish I had been tracking his deck more. Probably, probably he has more envoys and this is a big mistake. I mean, he was going to get two of them no matter what so I don't know the uh, I, I have a lot more coppers than him unfortunately I have a few more engine pieces but he's actually Oh, that sucks. He gets gear. That's really nice. He actually has a pretty clean deck. Well, cleaner than me. So he's probably going to win this one. And I keep running into this stuff, so... Well, that was somewhat nice of him. That turn was rescued by his envoy choice. Not that he could have necessarily known that, but I'm happy nonetheless. <laughs> now he'll drop the envoy. Yeah. Okay. So these decks don't work very well. Uh, is the Moral of the story, in my mind at least. I need uh, a lot more trashing before I think it would work at all. The gestures are hurting quite a bit. I could get a rats. I could just double province. I mean, there are worse, worse fates. Um, It would be great, of course, to set up where you actually have the gear ready each turn. Um, uh,
could do the rats, you know. I don't know why I would, but I could. So here, how are we going to end this? Ow. Or are we going to end it? <laughs> uh, of course, I can now do scouting for it. Well, I'm going to have a good turn here. So I don't know. That's sort of sad. I was going to probably lose it anyway. But. Um... I assume he has to score some points here.
I may be able to empty the gears here. Oh. He's going to deny in, boys. I expect. Well, I don't know. We'll learn. did not that's gonna help uh, quite a bit here actually okay so I just need to get a festival, really. Well, I got one. Well, I got one. <clears throat> Jeez, look at this board. Um, I think the opening to Magma Pie Peasant, and then I'm not even sure if you want the university or not. My peasant misses, I may lose. If my peasant misses, we'll find out. You really don't want your peasant to miss. True story. Ports, peasant, magpies. The piles, just the piles. <clears throat> you might want to take a catacombs, I don't know. Or a storyteller. I'd probably take a storyteller. Relic, probably not. Catacombs or storyteller. Uh, yeah, that looks very nice to me. Um, that's really awful. I mean, it's bad enough it might be losing, actually. This is not great. Second peasant might have been just awful. <clears throat> I kind of thought about a potion, but I don't know. 
if there's time for it. Do 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 He's hitting his his peasants or his travelers early in his turns. I'm hitting mine later and it is going to pile up to me losing. Like without a doubt really. Well, we got all of those for whatever that's worth, almost nothing. I could contest the ports. I don't have any. Um, I don't have any terminals. But. The question is, do I want? Do I want more of these guys? Or do I want to keep the peasant for buy? I can probably get something else for buy. He did get the last magpie. I was kind of hoping I would. But He add another peasant back in, maybe. You know, I didn't think on a turn. I may have had five on a turn. When did I buy the storyteller? I don't know what I had in hand here, but I might have wanted to raid. <sighs> or trade, I mean. This is just not good. I didn't draw a single card there. His teacher will come out now. It's just going to blow up. He 
Yeah, he, he's guaranteed to be at the teacher mine now, I think. Yep. And then he'll hit ports. And he'll give them plus cards or plus money or something. And it'll be over. I could resign. I won't resign, but I, I could. Could, should. All those good things. So. Yep. I have no money. I, I really... I think I have played this just in a really awful way. He may give, give the ports money now and then buy Pathfinding to give them both. <clears throat> yeah, that looks like a pretty reasonable thing, especially if you have either your Storyteller or your, your Catacombs in your hand. Um, which I don't know, but if he did, that would look like a really good move to me. Because he'll be able to afford... Yeah, he'll be able to afford pathfinding. And then, then he'll just be set. with super ports <gasps> he probably yeah and even gets another one out of it we can just resign alright comes down to the last one So we're all done with starts. Okay. <laughs> the, uh, This is awful. 5-2 is really bad. You can't make use of any... Or 2-5 in particular is really bad. You can't make use of save in any way. There's no 2s. There's just nothing. Um, you know, you can't give your... You can't start. You want to start buying these one of the one of these guys, one or the other, so that you can give it plus plus actions. You can't do that because you're uh, you're straight out of luck. Saving, yeah, saving does does you no good. I mean, I guess you can do it just for the heck of it. I can save one dollar and then. It'll let me save more dollars later on. I don't know. Probably I should have saved the estate, but whatever. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um. Uh. 
I'm going to take the masquerade. I don't know which one he's going to do. Apparently the masquerade as well. I don't actually know which is which is better. Masquerade or gear. It could be gear. I mean it really could be. I, I just don't know. So You can always save it if you draw it dead. It's not that It looks like we're mirroring here pretty much. Um, I'm trying to think if I'd like a relic or a treasure trove <clears throat> or just another masquerade. Sometimes you have to hit six it's not clear to me at all takes a gear. Interesting. I'm not going to do that. See if he takes treasure trove now, which he might. That wouldn't be crazy at all. I'll probably buy a treasure trove on my next five. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. So. I can either trash here or I can wait and buy um, save and lost arts let's wait so we'll play relic okay we'll buy save this guy and lost arts on the masquerade
I can always save a copper so I don't have to worry about his masquerades necessarily. Okay. Um, this may be a hilarious game actually. We may just green and green and green. Uh, okay, so that doesn't help me at all. Him missing here though means I have a chance to just straight out buy them and buy them and buy them. Can't trash yet. Can't trash at all. That's sad that we didn't get the <coughs> get either of those down, but that's okay. count one two three four five six seven eight nine but if I trash then just eight so it's no good um, I can save a province uh, okay I guess I'd do it. This relic seems to be helping me a little bit. This will be another province hand almost for sure. And then I should be safe. And 
I can just save golds until I hit province. Well, but barely. So I lost two. Well, I, I win the champion, the overall league, but just barely by a time two four. <clears throat> uh, he played really well, of course. Um, I did. I had some real dumb mistakes in a couple games. Uh, that one scouting party by, and it's just sort of how I built on a couple of boards. It's not great, but anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, and I guess tune in when we start the next season. See ya.